10. Engine right. burn off igniters initiate. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. All four RS-25 engines on the core stage and two solid rocket boosters now propelling the vehicle at 128 miles per hour. Hearing good, con good control on the roll from teams in Mission Control Houston. All good calls so far. Now 30 seconds into the flight of Artemis 1. First milestone will be forward the vehicle to pass through max Q at about 1 minute and 9 seconds into launch. This is the greatest period of atmospheric force on the rocket. SLS now traveling 607 miles per hour. You're looking at 8.8 .8 million pounds of maximum thrust. Quiet here in the loops in mission control. The four core stage engines are throttling down ahead of passing through max Q. seconds into the flight, traveling at 1,420 miles per hour. The four core stage engines are back at maximum thrust. The next major milestone will be for the solid rocket boosters to cut off and jettison about two minutes and 11 seconds into the flight, so about 30 seconds from now. Again, quiet here in Mission Control Houston as teams continue monitoring the flight of Artemis 1. We're now 16 miles downrange from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster jettison and shortly thereafter. Confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. Two minutes and 36 seconds into the flight. Hearing nominal calls here in Mission Control Houston. We've still got four good engines on the core stage. Next up, we'll be looking for the service module fairing to separate. This is three 15 by 15 foot fairing panels, providing structural support, protecting the service module. Those will separate at about three minutes and 11 seconds into flight, and very shortly thereafter will be followed by the launch abort system separation. Just over three minutes into the flight of Artemis 1, now traveling over 4,060 miles per hour, 83 miles downrange. Um, we just had success. confirmation that the service Artemis. module fairing has separated. Congratulations, NASA, and all those uh, involved. Just amazing flight. And that the launch abort system pyros have fired, separating those from Orion as well. For future crew members... There's no crew, though, but this is a test run. The dummies, the dummies, the, the mannequin that they have on the... Um, Vehicle, uh, we just heard full. the call for three engine press, meaning if SLS were to lose an engine at this point in the mission, we could still achieve a nominal mission. We would just have an extended main engine cutoff time. However, yeah. we still have four good engines, all at maximum thrust right now, powering the first flight of Artemis at five. Yeah, all four engines are working. Per hour, 148 miles downrange. Traveling at 5,200 miles per hour. Some crazy speed. So... Um, we're four minutes and 16 they have, seconds they have, into the um, flight of Artemis three, 1. Three dummies so far we've had with a full sensors we saw those to calibrate the G-Force. Two minutes and 11 seconds after liftoff. Shortly after we had the service module panels fairings separate, as well as the launch abort system. The launch abort system was inert for this flight, except to perform this separation. Those four core stage engines will continue to fire and power the flight of Artemis 1. 
now traveling over 6,800 miles per hour, 229 miles downrange. Mm -hmm. It's just Mr. over Atlantic Flight Ocean. Flight reports that the engines are looking good. Okay, all four looking good. Well, that's it. Yeah. Our Been waiting this for quite a while. It's just amazing to watch. So, I shall continue watching the progress of Atomis towards the lunar moon on the far side and to drop some uh, vehicle over there all right for future mm, human landings so these are gigantic rockets with um, extremely uh, powerful engines to lift off all the weight uh, for mission to mars so i'm not sure how what's the tonnage that they are lifting off uh, the Chinese Long March Y7 or Y9, they are going to do like 120 tons. So I'm not sure about this Atomis. I need to do some digging. So Long March 9 can they schedule for nine, 120 tons of. Uh, so the bigger the the bigger the the bigger the the heavier the weight the load, the bigger the. Um, the lift off uh, requires more power. All right, if you stick with me this far, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, listening to my <laughs> journey. All right, see you in the trail.